So like all other Harry Potter fans, I watched the reunion that came out on the 1st of January. And since then, I've been wanting to rewatch all the Harry Potter movies because I haven't watched them in the longest time. I marathoned them at least once or twice after the eighth one came out. But I honestly haven't seen Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone for possibly almost a decade. Anyway, here we go. I tried to get my wireless earphones to work, but they were just not cooperating. So, back to my old earphones we go. Okay. Also got my little Harry Potter mug. You can see it's dying because I've had it again for a decade and used it a lot. Also, it's kind of cheap, so it falls apart easily. I should have known that you would be here. Professor McGonagall. That tail wag looked kind of odd. I'm sure that was a real cat though. Also sorry I keep looking at my reflection. I've noticed the window reflection on my glasses and um, I don't want to change position so we'll just have to live with it. There you go. Fake baby. I feel like if you haven't read the books, sort of jump into conclusions and be like, how do you know the Dursleys are the worst? Exactly. But I think at this point everyone assumes. If you're watching this, you've probably read the books. I'm going to keep talking over this, but fun fact. I didn't get into Harry Potter until I was around 11 myself. And I think the first movie had already been out. I had no interest in it, but I picked up a Goblet of Fire from my school library and just read that by itself. And I enjoyed it, so I went back and read the first three, and then I saw the second one in theatre, didn't like it, and then didn't go to the theatre to watch them again until the fifth one, because I saw the third on TV and was like, oh, I really like this. Oh good, it's philosophers. Sometimes it says sorcerers and that's silly. Classic Dudley. You now, boy. Any He's so tiny. Any at all. <laughs> Snake. That was a bit loud there, Dudley. <laughs> Wink. I've never talked to a snake before. Do you? Neither. I mean... You... Hey! Wasn't Dudley in Queen's Gambit? I never finished that, but I started it. He was in Queen's Gambit, wasn't he? Good to know he's selecting. Hedwig's theme. You're not Hedwig, but you know, the owls. I saw it. Dumbledore was an interesting character. Like, why is he so specific about where the kids are? Like, he did, did he do that to the Weasleys and Hermione as well? Because I feel like that's such a Dumbledore thing to do just to, like, miss specifically with Harry's family because he heard that they were, you know, mean. I wanted to wear something Harry Potter related, but I don't actually have anything. <laughs> I have like a Deathly Hallows necklace, which is somewhere. And I had like a Hufflepuff badge thing, and I've got a few bits and bobs because I'm Hufflepuff. Because that's a way to introduce yourself if you say you're a Harry Potter fan. I'm like, which house are you in? No, sir. Not one I like how wild that um, Uncle Dursley's hair looks. He's a he's having a rough time of it. Classic shot right there. Knock knock. Thank you. It's not every day your young man turns eleven now, is it? Hey. I don't remember turning 11. To be fair, that was nearly 20 years ago, so. You're a wizard, You're Harry. You're a wizard, Harry. I'm a what? I'm a what? A wizard. I like owls, but I feel like a cat would be kind of easier to bring. And I do agree that Toad's like the uncool one. I have a cat. She's a black cat called Shadow. She'd fit into, you know, the whole magical kind of world thing. Hogwarts. Oh. 
Nice to meet you. Don't touch me. Fascinating subject. This is another one from Lego Harry Potter. Kind of love that game. Another classic shot. Ooh, I have been to a Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I went to the one in Osaka when I visited Japan in 2018. And I was so happy. Shh. Why would you do that when Harry's right there? Come on, Hagrid. I remember you. You're also, um, Professor Flitwick. Hey, Shadow. Do you want to come say hi? No, I think she's like, what are you doing at home? You could be at work. I have a day off. I wonder if all the adults involved in this only came in. Because like, I know a lot of them came in because yeah. their kids or like nieces and nephews were into Harry Potter and that's why they got into it. Hmm, I wonder. Is that this one? I wonder. Yep. He was in Doctor Who, right? John Hurt? He was uh, the, the war doctor. Happy birthday! Hi, Edward. Voldemort. Voldemort! Voldemort! <laughs> it was dark Sorry. times, Harry. Dark times. Look at that cute you. kid. Blimey, is that the time? Did he pull that out of his pocket or his leg? I've heard at King's Cross they have like a trolley stuck in the wall between 9 and 10 because I've seen a lot of people like to go take photos there. I would. I'll go there. How do you do this without people noticing? Like he did it right in front of that guy. I remember there was a Jelly Belly thing that did flavours like that. Like, you had to play that game. Bean Boozled. Emma! Another classic shot. I'm pretty good at names. Oh, my coffee's not working. Or I'm just, I need to distract myself with something else. Trying to fall asleep, Angela. We are. 40 minutes into a two and a half hour movie. Uh, what's on my face? There we go. Oh yeah, music's back. I remember there's a band one in the books where Ron was just talking about how he's waiting for the sorting to be over so he could eat. I could feel that with all the other kids. Like, ugh, just hurry up and get sorted into your houses so we can eat. I wonder who are some of these other professors, because I can't place them on my head. The first year. <sighs> Hurry, what is it? Where shall I Nothing. Be? Nothing will find. Snape! How many times have I yawned? I'm sorry. I wonder how much of that food is fake and how disappointing that would be to the kids. And there's that theory. That the main three are meant to go to other houses, but they chose Gryffindor because it's the whole you choose to be brave. Hermione's meant to be Ravenclaw, Ron's meant to be Hufflepuff, but that they chose to be brave, so they got put in Gryffindor, which don't know if you know that was an original intention, but I kind of like the idea of it. I also get more tired just sitting watching them, which is why I always like to do something else, but. The key of this was to actually watch and focus on the movies while also rambling. It's the ending credits music. Run, damn it! Is that a different cat in the beginning? That we wonder if you might be on time. Well, we got lost. Then back. Alan Rickman! Incantations in this class. The way he talks. Like the sudden pauses. Must have been his kind of choice of how to play Snape, but now it's so. I'm talking through his great speech. Passing home. What's they should grow by now that the spells are all meant to be Latin. Do you think they'd figure that out? Before. I do like this running gag that they created that Seamus always blows things up because in the last one he actually 
on purpose blows up the bridge. Good. You could totally imagine someone not paying attention, just being whacked in the face. Well, what are you waiting for? Everyone step up to the left side of their broomstick. Come on now, hurry up. Stick I know her, but I can't place her name. That's going to bug me. Because I'm, again, <laughs> I like to know their names. What's funny is that I think later on when they ride brooms, they never do the handover and up. They're just holding it and they sit on it. Bye, Neville. What's the matter, Potter? Bit beyond your reach. Bye, Tom. You're Dra Draco. Wouldn't he need to shout? Like, they wouldn't have to hear him from that far. That looks That's real so uncomfortable, by the way, the way they're sitting on their shoes. <laughs> have it your way, then. I mean, honestly, that some reason what Draco just did. Oh, Fluffy! Ah! Ah! It's, a, it's a weird game, but Careful it's now, just more of a back. plot device than anything else. The only thing... You mean to use gloves, but to be fair, they didn't know all those details. Something about them having flesh memory, because that's important in the um the last one. You catch this, the game is over. <laughs> you catch this, Potter. And we win. I don't earn half left. Like seriously, sitting down and watching an entire movie just takes so much focus. I do have, I feel like, can relate to Hermione a bit because I, I did like studying and book reading to an extent, probably not to the same extent Hermione did. Well done, dear. Jesus, the up. <laughs> I think we're going to need another face. I mean, it's floating. He did it. Maybe his wand's defective. In the dungeon! Could have done it a bit less extra, but that's cruel for you. You don't have two toes. <laughs> it's Shrek. <laughs> no, Shrek's an ogre, sorry. Some funny CG. I mean, he did that hard enough that could be murder. <laughs> we'll be awarded to each of you. I feel like the only time I hear about points in the movies is mostly in the first. Like I don't think they really get talked about later on. Yeah, I was at Gringotts. Hagrid took something out of one of the vaults. Said it was Hogwarts business, very secret. Put in two and two together. Saying, we'll that's what the dogs doing got. It. That's what Snape wants. My my brain is. My coffee's not kicking in. It's I've it's been like an hour since I've drunk it. Not just a shiny looking now. room. It's a Nimbus 2000. Here it comes again. <gasps> oh. I swear, I'm not normally so yawny. I can pay attention, but. Alright. Let's focus on Quidditch. I was so excited. He's, um, no, wait, he's also in community. He's, um, the pop pop guy. Why would you stand, Harry? I, I I guess he's wanting to show off, but he got it on the sitting down as well. Happy Christmas, Harry. Happy Christmas, Ron. Is that how you guys say it in the UK? Happy Christmas. I feel like it's Merry Christmas. Does anyone say Merry Christmas? If you're a it's like Happy Holidays at Merry Christmas, right? Action. I don't remember what else I've seen Alan Rickman in besides of this and action. Die Hard. Oh, he's in love, actually, right? I know the what that is. Daenerys would be so proud. I'd always wanted a dragon. It's funny because just watching the movie, it just matches. looks like Draco was stalking them it's around. Crazy. But in the book, he um intercepted Worse, a letter. I don't understand. Did Where he found out about the dragon, so it kind of made a bit more sense. Good evening. I feel like I've gone quieter as the movie's gone on. My, my coffee is... My attention have both waned. I'm a lot more focused at the beginning. I have a few friends growing up who weren't allowed to watch Harry Potter. Sometimes for, you know, more kind of, I guess, religious reasons. <laughs> Bye, Draco! 
But there's also the fact that it is PG because it has scary scenes. Listen. What's on his pajamas? No, I won't let you. Oh, titties. Bell on the harp. I like harps. I've always kind of wanted to not learn it, obviously, because I, I don't think I, I'd want a harp because it's gigantic. But just like, it's such a beautiful kind of sound. And I'd love to like strum one, like even just once. <laughs> it has a giant glove of drool. <laughs> See, they, they never do up with a broomstick again. That one's already floating, waiting for someone to hop on. Okay, we give her on a few good moments then, which is good. Light to H3. Check. remember this this bit. Check. Good for adding tension. I'll let you stab the horse and not run. Hey Quirrell. Wink. It took me so long to learn how to wink. I still can only really do it with my right eye, with my left what eye, it? it just what do you comes see? off a bit weird. Uh that does look pretty messed up. He has a nose! <laughs> that just looks really funny. Also, don't strangle the child. That was just meant to burn him, but instead... <laughs> Harry straight up murders him. <laughs> Bye. Here's Voldy. And so begins his yearly tradition of, you know, going on a wacky adventure at the end of every year after exams. I guess that's a school thing, right? Getting so excited about that. Because, I mean, does anything else come with winning the house cup or are they just like bragging rights? I am not going to watch the credits. This is not MCU. I don't need to. Um, yeah, no, that was really fun re watching it. Um, I do remember every time I did the marathons, the first one's just kind of something that I needed to get through before getting to all the good stuff. But I did enjoy rewatching it again. But at some point, <laughs> I will be doing Chamber of Secrets, which again, I feel the same about Philosopher's Stone as that it's, you know, it's the beginning of it. It has a very family adventure feel kind of to it and it's not until later down the line that I will probably get a lot more excited and have a lot more to say because for a good 50% of that I was kind of zoned out and yeah if you watched till the end thanks for watching and see you next time